let's explore all the new Easter passives in anime fighters. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video for free bow bugs. Hey yo, what up? F mine is Gang Gang. Welcome back to Anime Fighter Simulator, guys. You have to check out my newest waifu unit. This divine is crazy. Look at how cool it looks. <laughs> no, really, you gotta go to the Easter event, go play Anime Fighters right now, and go get you the new divine. Or if you don't want to get the divine, maybe it's a little too difficult, or you don't want to mess with it because the stats are kind of low, or you just don't like girls. That's okay. You can go for the Easter passives. If you saw my last video, you guys saw I pulled double mythic passives on my Easter bunny over here. She's crazy. She, <laughs> Dude, the aura is just insane. And that's exactly what we're doing for the video. We're going to be trying to get every single new passive from the Easter update. And we'll see like what's the best combination. We'll try to work it out. Maybe you guys already know in the Discord server. However, I'm also going to give you guys the tips and tricks so that you can get yourself the Divine Easter passive easily. Reg Surgeons and Sunrise, Egg Hunter Master, Egg Bonanza. And we also have Eggnificent Fighter. What the? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Now, normally you would think, oh, you want to go to get the easy, you know, secret passive F minus. All you got to do is use a passive luck potion. You would think that's the best way. However, that's not the best way anymore. Nope. You want to use the new passive potions from the Easter market. If you guys scroll down just a little bit, maybe you don't even have to scroll down. One of these potions here gives you increased chance of getting a good passive. And if I go to my inventory, I can see exactly which one you guys got to get. It's going to be this one. It says Easter passive luck boost. This is the one that you guys want to focus on. So taking a look at again at the Easter Market Merchant, remember, you want to purchase the one that has a Y on it. So it's going to be this right here. I guess it's not a Y, it's actually a bunny if you see my mouse cursor on the right side. This right here, 5 potions for 575 bunny tokens. That's what you guys should focus on. You buy a bunch of these, you will get the mythic passives, the secret passives, the divine passives easier, a lot easier. And I can show you right now my index. For me, using Artifact of Dreams, using the 2x passive lucky game pass, and using that Easter passive luck, I'm able to get a divine passive 0.065% chance. It doesn't sound that good, but if you look up, you can see a secret passive. What's the chance? 1%. That is crazy. 1% chance to get a secret passive. I don't know if the rates are correct, but if it's anything like the Winter Island map, Winter Island map, it was like 0.1% to get a secret passive. This one is 1%. So it's actually about 13 times higher. This is a lot easier to get the better passives on. So make sure you guys are buying these potions right here. I guess if you're looking at the Easter market, top left is the gummies, top right is the illusion tickets, and this right here is like the book. This right here on the right side, it's just like the first thing you buy, 575, it doesn't have any icon, it doesn't actually tell you what it is. But that's the passive lucky potion, that's how you guys are going to be able to get those divine secret passives, which is going to be perfect for you guys. And if you want bunny tokens, I did a video yesterday, these right here, all you got to do is kill enemies around the map. And you can do that easily by using, you know, one of the Easter units, max it out, get double passives, limit break it, max level it, use a damage avatar, use a damage boost. And then you guys should also like just try to max out your damage, Robux event, damage artifacts, everything you possibly can to do more damage. And then you turn on auto attack, you run around the map, boom, a couple thousand tokens, maybe an hour later. That's how you guys are going to get those passive luck potions. But it's over here, passive, I mean, the a passive machine. Now that we have all that passive luck stacked together, we are ready to reroll. And if you didn't see my last video, if you see the very bottom of the screen, um, I have 3,000 of those passive egg tokens. I think they're called Easter tokens or something like that. If we scroll down just a little bit, these are the bunny tokens. And if we just keep on scrolling down right here, Easter passive tokens, 3,000. If you also want to get those, you could purchase it with robux i mean it's kind of expensive though 20 rerolls and it's like a thousand robux or you can do it this way all you gotta do is go to the challenge hub and open up a dungeon 
so if you if you have robux you turn on a drops event you don't have to do this but you know it really does help out a lot once you guys turn on the drops event i mean at the bottom right of the screen i have 7x drops now we go back to the challenge hub right and i'm gonna go ahead and use this right here dark goku avatar 5x drops it's not much but it will help out a lot and then i'm gonna purchase a super drop boost here if you're broke and you can't get a super drop boost i mean you could use a regular drop boost although you know most of us in the game you know we we could at least afford that at the bare minimum we should be able to afford that hopefully you guys can so i'm gonna use that and then i'm gonna use a super damage boost it looks like i'm already using one and then once you have like all of those like drop things equipped go get your drop artifact so go get the artifact of hoarding artifact of multitude you definitely need that as well and then once you have the artifact of hoarding if you prestiged it great if you haven't there's no trouble at all guys it doesn't matter you don't have to there's a 5x drops event and if you turn on the robux event it's like 1x extra drops and i guess the boss actually turned on 6x drops normally it's 5x drops and then you equip your drops team you guys have seen my drops team before best shiny infused divine in the game it's not max level uh i think max level in the game is 670 these are still 660 so if you want to get those tokens so you can reroll your passives all you gotta do once again is open up a large medium or small dungeon on easter easter you can find it if you look in the very middle of the world selection list so you just scroll down a little bit it's going to be after Kingdom of Four and before Icy Waste, Easter 2024 Island. Just do large. If you do insane, yeah, I don't know, guys. It's it's really difficult to do insane. I'm telling you right now. That's the Artifact of Passage, though. And I'm going to go back here, configure the dungeon once again. Let's go ahead and open it up and we'll make it. I guess we could do a public, you know, I'll open it up for the entire server. And I go back over here. We're going to switch back to the Artifact of what? Hoarding? Artifact of Multitude? So yeah, Artifact of Hoarding, Artifact of Multitude, Full Drops Team. If you look at the bottom right of the screen right now, my Drops Multiplier is 1099x. Easy. And that's perfect for us. And all we gotta do is enter the dungeon, turn on Auto Attack. And if you're like F-, minus, you did a large dungeon, not even the biggest one, you should be able to get a couple thousand rerolls. If you don't have a thousand X Drops, you have 500 X Drops you would divide the number of tokens that i currently have because i only did one dungeon i had like four thousand token three thousand tokens by two so i probably get 1500 if you have 100 x drops you probably get three to five hundred tokens which is a lot guys and we've already gotten our first treasure chest room can you imagine that i'm gonna open it up we get lucky maybe three treasure chests we got one treasure chest look at the very bottom of the screen i want you to focus on it look at all those items that we just got right there we got a bunch of fragments Looks like we got Illusion Ticket. I didn't see how many like uh, Easter passive tokens we got. No doubt in my mind we got a bunch though. And at the very bottom of the screen, once again, we got some passive rerolls. Looks like we got some Easter shards. If I go to my inventory, we have 3,790 Easter passive tokens. Now the thing about these tokens, you cannot put them in the dupe machine. So there is a dupe machine currently in the game if you go to Easter Island. Um, you can pretty much dupe anything except, I think, the craftable materials. I think. I can double check it. And also, like, all the new Easter stuff. With the exception of... I, I don't know if you could do bunny tokens. There was something you were able to, like, dupe. But we will double check it a little bit later. All I'm showing you right now is make sure you guys do dungeon. Get your drops team. Snowflake. Um, if you don't use Snowflake, one of the new secret passives gives you a drop multiplier. It's called Egg Bonanza. You guys might know what I mean, and if you don't, do not worry. We're going to pull it a little bit later in the video, and I will be able to show you guys. So everything is going pretty well. I've already killed the boss, and we've already went inside the treasure chest room. I have about 5,000 tokens in my inventory. Look at that, 5,230 Easter tokens. I'm just trying to complete the rest of the dungeon. We only opened three treasure chest rooms at the bottom left of the screen. We like it's only three. So, <laughs> I mean, we could try to go for 6,000, 7,000. Every chest I break, we get a couple hundred tokens, like like half of a thousand. It is a lot. 
but all i'm showing you guys if you do the large dungeon medium dungeon small dungeon you break the chest as long as you have a decent amount of drops you'll get a bunch of these tokens and you're gonna need them to get those divine secret and then mythical passives so it doesn't look like i can get another treasure chest in time don't really care we're going to easter island right now and we're gonna start re-rolling for those divine passes whoa you think f minus can do it now before we do that i have to make sure we switch back to the artifact of dreams make sure you guys are doing that as well and then remember the boost that i told you guys to buy it had like a little bunny logo on it this right here easter passive luck boost i'm gonna go ahead and use one it looks like i think we're using oh it gives you 30 minutes when you use it at the bottom left of the screen so we have about two hours of it that's good we're guaranteed to get something great then and you guys could also use this method where you get a common unit and you get a bunch of these Easter shards here at the right side. And then you can just reroll this. It only costs one shard to reroll. I can show you guys really quick. Look at that. Now it's at 57. We've got Easter Bunny. If you want to get those Easter shards, I think you can dupe them. I don't think you can dupe the tokens though. And looking at my inventory, yeah, I don't see the tokens. But I see the Easter shards. We can double check and verify. Can you dupe them? Yes, you can. You just can't dupe the tokens. So you guys can get those shards by doing time trial. Pretty sure if you get like a, what, Easter map or something. And then you can do dungeon and select the Easter map as well. You just gotta get lucky in time trial. So like, you know, the enemies that spawn are from Easter Island. But yeah, looking at my inventory, I don't see any Easter tokens unless I'm missing them. You guys let me know. You guys can only dupe those shards. So I guess it doesn't really matter what I reroll on. Let's try to reroll on a cool looking unit though. I guess, you know what? We have a bunny, right? Yeah, the newest divine. Let's go reroll on this. So I'm gonna use my tokens. Um, I've already shown you guys Easter Bunny, Blossom Bunny, Golden Carrots, Rabbit Rampage. If you didn't see my video, none of these give any kind of multiplier. So if you're looking for like time multiplier, uh, luck multiplier, drops multiplier, none of the mythic passives give it. However, the secret passives do. And I can run by it really quick and exactly what it does. You see this right here that says Egg Excellent Fighter? Uh, that one, I don't think it does anything for multipliers. However, this right here, this says Egg Hunter Master. This will give you 0.75 luck. I got this one in the update video. So if you want extra luck, go for Egg Excellent Master. Egg Hunter Master. And then Egg Bonanza. Egg Bonanza will give you extra drops. It's exactly kind of like Snowflake. So Egg Bonanza drops. Egg Master Hunter. That one's for luck. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, this right here. This is Snowflake. It gives you drops. It's basically the same thing as Egg Bonanza. And then right here, Egg Hunter Master. That was the luck one I told you about. And then you have Reg Surrection. And then you guys also have uh, Sunrise. So Reg Surrection, it says it gives you team damage 2.5x. Sunrise gives you 0.5x time, which I think is the highest time multiplier in the game. And then I think the other one, there's something called Secret Excellent. It gives you team damage. So this right here, Excellent Fighter gives you team damage. So it gives you a multiplier, but it's like a damage multiplier. Team damage, I mean, Ghastly, Crew Leader, stuff like that. I don't know. We're about to find out exactly what we're going to end up getting for the video. I want to pull all of them, though, just to show you. So auto reroll on tokens. We'll go for all the secret passes, any of the divines. I promise you we will get the divines for the video. I have 5,000 tokens. There's zero reason I wouldn't get it. And then I'm just going to reroll until we get... Oh, okay. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. Well, there you guys go. We got uh, lucky, I guess. We've already pulled the triple egg one. This one's called Egg Hunter Master. So this will give you 0.75 luck. Remember, once again, Egg Hunter Master 0.75 luck. I don't need to reroll it again. I've gotten it before. Excellent Fighter, Team Damage, Egg Bonanza, Drops. I mean, if I pull it for the video, I can show you guys. Now, let's see if we can get that Divine Passive. If I get a Secret Passive, um, I showed you, okay, there you guys go. I mean, I guess it's true. It's literally a 1% chance to get a secret passive. You're guaranteed to get it at this point. It's just the divine passes are a little bit tougher. So this one gives you team damage, apparently. Excellent hunter. And I mean, I can test it for you guys. All I gotta do is equip the unit and take a look at the bottom right of the screen. You see the bottom right of the screen? 13.5x damage. If I equip this, I should have more 
damage and it does 18.5x so it's kind of like um a teen damage passive crew leader basically i guess i don't know how good it is compared to crew leader but it does give you team damage now i don't need to roll excellent fighter I'll go for egg bonanza sunrise x direction once again egg bonanza right there is going to give you the drops multiplier i don't really need it because i already have a full team of snowflake and you know what taking a look at it i'm not even going to try to roll for it i already have a full team of snowflake snowflake from the winter event we're going to go for sunrise and rex direction and then maybe transfer the passes, do a little bit this, a little bit that. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys when I get the double passes or something. Dang, okay, so as promised, we got one of each of the passives there. The top one and the bottom one. One of them's called Regsurrection, and the other one's called Sunrise. This one says, this fighter has been reborn through eggs. And then the other one, Sunrise, it says, this fighter has seen the sun's origins. Uh, you know you guys want to see how cool they look so i guess we can just go ahead and turn off these graphics you all know we got to turn it over real quick because i mean we got the double divine passive sunrise and reg surrection once again i told you earlier what they do sunrise apparently gives you a time multiplier we'll double check it and reg surrection apparently gives you team damage so i'm gonna focus on the bottom right of the screen let's go equip that unit and yes, um, it does exactly what it's supposed to. So if you guys want time multiplier, you should definitely go for sunrise. If you want team damage and just DPS, reg surrection is probably your best. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, why does the fire look like that? Oh my God. And you guys know I play on the lowest graphics because my computer sucks. So imagine if you're playing on max graphics. Dang. <laughs> oh, Lord. It, oh, it hurts my eyes and how amazing it looks. So sunrise, it gives you like a flaming sun right behind your character. And then if you get uh, reg surrection, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. You get like a shining star, I think. I know for sure Sunrise gives you the little sun ball. So that's really damn cool. And she's doing 1.8Q. Before she was doing about half the damage. So that gives you guys a little perspective. Sunrise, really good for that uh, time multiplier, I guess. Regsurrection, really good for damage multiplier. And those are pretty much all the passives in the game. I did show you guys the secret ones. I showed you the divines. Maybe now you guys want to see a max level unit with maybe the best passives in the game. And we can definitely do that. Let's head to the time chamber. And I guess we can try to max out one of our units. I think we're probably going to take Worst Spirit here. The reason we're taking Worst Spirit is because it's the best divine in the game in terms of base damage nothing is better so why not so we're gonna transfer both of those new passives actually you know what we have to do we have to get protagonist first we have to max level this dude i cannot show you guys like the damage if we don't even have double protagonist because we got to get 670 currently 660 that extra 10 levels man we gotta have those 10 levels otherwise it's just not even gonna be worth it let's go put worst spirit in here incubator max level 335 it should level up pretty damn fast. I will use Chief Made Avatar. Looks like most of our boosts ran out, so I'm gonna also use a Super Time Boost, Easter Time Boost, and then I'll use my Light Speed Team. And along with that, I'll go to the Challenge Hub and switch out our artifacts. We'll go for the Artifact of Time and the Artifact of Multitude. Definitely get the Artifact of Dreams if you guys wanna <laughs> get those divine passives. It only took me like 10 minutes, I think. I only spent like a thousand or 2,000 rerolls. And you can see right there, I mean, it's already almost max level, that's crazy. I don't have anything equipped and I only have 40X time. Look at the top of the screen. So that's how easy it is to level up your units with the new incubator levels. 335, maybe for you guys, 325, 330. Let me know in the comments. We're gonna withdraw him. And then we're going to take our Injure Burst, go to the Transfer Machine here, we'll select them, and then we'll transfer the passives off. The Bunny should still have both of them. Okay, she has one of them, Reg Surrection, and the other one is called Sunrise. If you couldn't get the Winter Passives, now's your chance. These ones are apparently better. And then now we have Injure Burst. Last thing I'm going to do for the video is just, you know, you know turn off the graphics a little bit. I want to see how cool he looks, right? And then let's go pull out our Worst Spirit. 
Dang, looking amazing. Injured Burst, I don't really think he looks that cool though. That's why I came to Challenge Hub. I want to clear the illusion. Now we can check out our waifu unit. So this is the waifu unit. Dang. <laughs> oh, jeez. She looks amazing. Now we can make it look even a little bit better if we go to Corrupt City. Corrupt City has a really good background. Look at that. Dang. That's how you guys do it. Oh, God. We are lagging. That's how amazing it looks. Now we're going to try to max out the graphics. There you guys go. We're Spirit 670. That's how the unit looks. I'm not going to lie to you. That's a flex. That's that's a massive flex of course you guys gotta let me know in the comments on what you guys think of the easter update the divine passes pretty much everything we've checked out most of the stuff in the update we just gotta get the auras we gotta make the evolution unit you guys let me know what you think though really do appreciate your guys support and until next time guys i'll see you in the next video